Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sugar Shack. I'm super excited. Uh, this is video one of my Tales of Asperia um, low level challenger trophy playthrough. Uh, now I did get this trophy uh, over a year ago, um, but and I'm pretty sure I did it on Twitch, but I noticed I never brought it over to YouTube. So instead of just bringing over old Twitch videos, I thought I would uh, just redo this. Um, I'm kind of stuck in between games because I just finished Final Fantasy 7 and I'm waiting for Final Fantasy 15 to show up. Um, so I thought, hey, this seems like something that'll kill a couple days and uh, I'll have a lot of fun doing it because Tales of Vesperia is in my top three favorite games. I love this game so, 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 so much. Okay, so um, let's get started. Now, of course, if we're doing... Um, the low level challenger trophy um this means you have to defeat one of the bosses uh being lower than level 15. um and since this boss is about a third of the way through this 70-ish hour game um that's level 15 is pretty low so um i'm 99 percent sure it is impossible to do the low level challenger on your first playthrough um go ahead and prove me wrong and if you did prove me wrong please let me know down in the comments because i think that's super impressive um me i haven't tried it but i don't think i could do it i mean i probably could do it but uh just to be super safe because it would be super embarrassing if we didn't make it for the video uh we're going to start a new game plus um based on one of my old playthroughs so that we can take uh, some important uh, grade items that will uh, help us through the game. I love this when you hit X new game, Yuri kind of looks over at his shoulder at you. Uh, when you just click continue or new game, he doesn't. Uh, so for those of you who aren't very familiar with the Tales series, um, when you are in battles, you earn grade. And grade it allows you to purchase things in the new when you do new game plus uh so for those of you who want to have a very very easy uh new game plus where you're just trying to get like all the items if you're trying to 100 percent it um you'll definitely want to get a lot of grade in your battles so as you can see i've got a fair few playthroughs uh completed on the playstation 4 i've got even more on the xbox 360. um we're going to go with my last uh, finish, 267, um, because it's the best one. Everyone's at 200. I got everything I could get except for the uh, snowboarding stuff because I suck at that. So I'm going to take my max 99 items and keep my items from last time uh, so that I should have about 70 holy bottles. And that's going to be really important for this playthrough. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to keep my gold and my titles and my collector's book and... Uh, all of this stuff I'm gonna keep my arts and my skills um, just because I'm gonna be such a low level that I'm gonna want some stuff just to make battling less painful okay um, so I'm gonna increase my max HP and TP because I'm gonna be a lower level too so that'll help um, we're gonna do two times the gold just because why not I've got the grade for it uh, and then uh, we want to do half experience and this is very important um, because you're going to get a lot of experience from the battles, uh, especially at the start when you're such a low level. Uh, so it's really important. Uh, this is the whole reason I suggest doing New Game Plus is to get this half experience. Um, and then uh, skill SP1. This means all of my skills only cost one SP instead of like 10 or 30 in some cases. And since I'm only going to be getting probably the level 2, 13. I wouldn't want to get much higher than that. Uh, it'll be helpful because I'm not going to have a lot of SP. Uh, I thought about doing this, set XP value to 1 and increase bonus XP by 5 times because I'm keeping my weapons. I'm going to keep the fell arms power, which is right below this. So the battles are going to be over pretty quickly, even though I'm such a low level. Uh, so I wouldn't like because like the bonus EXP is going to be from like getting like five hit combos or like, you know, 100 hit combos, which is not going to happen at these levels um, and like other stuff like that. So if I've got a fell arm attached, that's like 
retardedly powerful, um, then I'm not going to be getting any of these because I'm just going to be doing like a one hit kill sort of thing. Uh, so uh, I'm super nervous about this because I've never selected this one before. Uh, but let's give it a try. And if I've got to start again, I got to start again. That's that wouldn't be the first time I've like replayed the first three or four hours of this game. Like <laughs> anyway, so fell arms power we want. I like to unlock all the skits just in case I feel like watching them. Um, we don't really need unknown, but whatever. And then I'll increase the drop drop rate just for fun. So I think we're good. We don't have to worry about any of this stuff because if I hadn't selected skills, then I could just pick or like arts and skills, then I could just pick like maybe I only want Yuri's or, you know, Rita's. But um, OK. All right, boils and ghouls, it's time to start this game. So excited, little nervous because of that battle EXP thing, but I think we got this under control. Let's get going. Okay. Items and titles will automatically apply the titles and or attachments from your clear data, which is why my clear data said the last save was today, because I wanted to make sure everybody was in their proper outfits, because sometimes uh, I change the outfits around if my husband's watching, because he hates the outfits that I wear. Uh, so um, I had done that. A couple of my um, characters were not in my preferred outfits, so I had to switch that up. Let's get going. Proceed. Yes, please, please, please. Configure settings. Right. This is important. Uh, I want to make sure I'm going to, I'm going to put it on. Ooh, I, oh, I'm going to put it on normal just because I think hard gives more EXP and I don't want, I want as little EXP as possible. I should almost go on easy, but I don't know. I can't remember if easy gives you like more EXP or not. So we'll just stick with normal. Uh, we've got the vibration on. Leave that as it is. Um, I can't remember. Uh, normal attack arts guard. Okay. Yeah, that's as it should. Oh, no. Free run is L2. Fatal strike is R2. Select. Yeah, no. Sorry for mumbling to myself. That is as it is. We're going to change, um, bring the background music down quite a bit. And the sound effects, especially the battle sound effects. And I can probably, well, there we go. Um, the item request is pretty cool uh, because basically, like, uh, Yuri's low on uh, TP. So Rita can be like a little bubble above her character says orange gel. And I'd be like, yes, I need an orange gel. And you just press down on, I think it's the right stick. And um, then they'll use the orange gel on you, which is much better than just having them allowed to use items because then they're just throwing items at you. It's such a waste. Uh, but with this, you could actually be like, nah, I can go a bit longer before I need an orange gel. Okay. And obviously I want the subtitles on because so excited that most of this is voiced. So I do not need to uh, speak during it. All right. Here we go for real. Start the game. Our world, Terka Lumeres. No one knows how far its lands and oceans stretch. For the people are no match against the hordes of monsters that crawl the earth. Barriers protect the cities in which we live. And we are completely dependent upon them for our survival. These barriers are generated by the Blastia. The Blastia use the primeval power of air that fills the world to provide us with fire, water, and light. They provide us with everything that has made the Empire prosper. Perhaps one day, we may even 
forget the threat of the vicious monsters lying in wait just beyond the barriers. The blessings of the Blastia will bestow ever more prosperity to the world and peace to its people. I love her voice. Dun 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 Oh no. <laughs> I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this town? <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, every time that just slays me. It's just such a sad scene, these dead monsters on the ground and he's just like, oh no. <laughs> That was Esteliz. Uh, she's also the one uh, who was doing the talking. And here's our best boy, Yuri, star of the show. Main protagonist. Oh, and his faithful hound, Rapide. Yuri, this is not good. Oh, no. What's with all the yelling, Ted? Look, the Aqua Blasty is broken again. I mean, come on, you've been staring out the window, Yuri. You're I telling just me. just finished fixing it. Are you telling me you didn't see that? What's the big deal? Just leave it to the mighty Imperial Knights. That's what they're there for. So I apologize because I'm going to interrupt myself a million times in this playthrough, probably, or walkthrough, I guess. Uh, because I'm so used to Final Fantasy VII, where I can just hit X and kind of keep talking and whatever, because the bubble's up there on the screen, but then these are all voiced, so then, like, I'm in the middle of something and I press X and then the character interrupts me. So I apologize, I'm going to try not to do that, but it's going to happen. Huh, the knights? You know they never come to the lower quarter. What about the heroic Flynn? I already tried to get Flynn. They wouldn't even let me see him. Oh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? Never mind that. Come on, we're short on people. Ted, Ted, you get down here. They need your help, too. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there in a sec. Yuri, come on already. That's weird. <laughs> He always comes running whenever there's trouble. That is weird. This place is going to become an aquarium soon if this keeps up. Are you just noticing this now, Yuri? Maybe that's how he sleeps. He just likes to sleep in the windowsill. I would if I could. I'm not going to lie. I've always wanted a window that I could just sit at like that. It's my dream. But I love staring out the window. When I'm old, I'm going to be one of those, like, crazy old ladies that just sit sits on her porch and watches everything. And, like, you kids, you stop that now. Knows everything that goes on because she's such a busybody. <laughs> Jeez, Yuri's... Oh. That's because he needed to do his dramatic entrance. Yuri! You came! Oh, I noticed one thing I didn't correct. Um, I was, oh, it doesn't matter now, I guess. Um, oh, actually, um, I am going to get all my downloadable items, if I can remember where items are. Oh my god, it's been, uh, I think six months since I played this game, so I'm a little rusty with all the controls. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna, I think, cut this part out, because this will take forever. 
Oh my goodness, everybody. Okay, so I already have to start the game again uh, because when I was getting all of my downloadable items, I accidentally grabbed uh, the level 10 up, <laughs> which put me at level 15, which means I already can't get the, <laughs> um, the trophy, which I already have. Whatever. Anyways, so uh, double cut because... I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> okay, everyone, I am back at the proper level five. Um, <laughs> geez. Uh, anyways, so I'm just going to get his equipment set up. I thought I'd do that with everyone watching. Um, let me just switch. Oh, no. What do I want to press? There we go. Okay. Uh, so I want the strongest physical attack sword. And as much as it looks like that's this demonic sword, Ogre Fang... It's actually very much this. So as you can see, like, my Blazer Ed Abys Abyssian? 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 Uh, anyways, uh, does, like, ten times, almost, almost ten times more damage than my other strongest uh, weapon. So we're going to equip that. And that's what I said uh, when I uh, was like, well, the battles are going to be super easy, so hopefully I won't be getting much bonus experience. Okay. Uh, and I have every single piece of item. I've got the collector's book 100%. Uh, so, well, not 100%, sorry, because I don't have the black bunny ears because of the snowboarding. Uh, the snowboarding thing just makes me want to stab the person who made it part of this game because it wasn't part in the... Um, uh, original. Anyway, sorry, I went the wrong way. I'm looking for a fairy ring. I got distracted with my hatred of... There we go, fairy ring. Um, okay. And then we can set our skills. So, uh, obviously, I want my strength up. And then... There is one specific one I want. Uh, and it's... Ah, glory. Avoid staggering for any kinds of attacks perfect yes please uh it is the um one that i was thinking of when i said like was talking about it in the very opening there um so i don't want any extra exp um uh, what was i wanting though sorry there's one here i've actually debated doing loner uh, and there's, like, one, like, standalone skill somewhere in here. So that Yuri's the only one, and then not have him participate in the final battle against Barbos. Because I think I should have at least five characters by that point. And that way I ensure getting it. But I know I can get that, get this without doing that. So, uh, let's just, um, Spirits 3... And then I'm going to set up the cooking, uh, and the cooking is just going to be, um, fruit parfait, because that does the, uh, and, like, as you can see, I've got everything. Okay, that'll increase the TP, that restores the most TP, so we'll cook that after every battle, because I'm going to need it, because I'm going to blow through TP, blah, 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 blow through TP like it's nobody's business. So, before we do anything, we gotta go over here. Save points. Uh, save points, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these ones are just the regular save points, and then the ones that are, like, pretty much pure white uh, will heal you. So, let's just go over to nine and create a new save point. Perfect. Okay. And then... Um, I think you can go back up to Yuri's room and get like an apple gel or something, but I'm not going to bother. going to go in here for this funny scene. Ho, ho, ho. You sure are a looker, young lady. Fancy a drink with this old man? Hey, you're a guy. <laughs> I love that scene. Even though there's nothing and no point of going in there now. I always have to do that scene. Makes me smile so much. And here we go up to all the commotion.
We've got to seal it off somehow. What's going on? Any sunken treasure down there? Yeah, but you're late, so I'm not sharing. <laughs> How nice. Oh, Yuri. Hey, it's sink or swim in this world. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. Looks like that blue-blooded mage we hired to fix the blast deal left the job half done. Glad you could find the time to stop by, Yuri. <laughs> Take it easy with the water sports, old man. You're not getting any younger. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad this is voiced. As much as I would love to be a voice actor, I am not a voice actor. I can't maintain an accent for more than like two minutes. Maybe 30 seconds would be more accurate. Uh, and I just like, that old man voice is like the personification of what I would want to do if I were voice acting for Hanks. And I mean... I know I'm a girl, so it's a little bit harder, but still. You're up next. Not afraid of a little water, I oh, hope. I love it. I love it. Yikes. Come on now, put your backs into it. <laughs> hey -ho. Oh. Hey Hanks is really going at it. <laughs> this the scene also makes he feels me laugh. Responsible. He's the one who pushed the people to get the money together for the repairs. Because they're just throwing sandbags, they're already... Like, I know what they're trying to do, but it just seems funny, because it's just these sandbags are already in the water. And now but... he's the one who's all wet. Oh, Yuri. It's not Hanks' fault that mage did a two-bed repair job, though. Nope. That's true. He even parted with his wife's keepsake to help raise the money. Yuri is the only one who notices it's missing. Sorry, I think when I mute my mic, it makes like an annoying click noise. I apologize for that. But... Hey, Yuri! If you're not gonna help out, stand clear. This is dangerous. <laughs> um, there was a some geese. Like first, I had to cough, and then there was a loud goose that was uh, voicing its protest at something. Hanks, did you see the Blastia core anywhere? You know, that shiny piece in the center? Huh? Is it gone? <laughs> yeah, the Blastio won't work with the core missing. That aristocrat who came to do the repairs was the last person to touch the Blastia, right? Dun dun dun! That's right, a Mr. Mordio! <laughs> and he lives in the Royal Quarter? Yeah, so? Forget about that, Yuri. Give us a hand here. Forget about it. Sorry, Hanks. I just remembered an errand I've got to run. Hey, wait just a minute. <laughs> You're not seriously thinking of going to Mr. Mario's place, are you? He's Yuri. Of course he is. He's the town's, or the lower quarter's vigilante. I love that sword so much. Oh, so pretty. The Royal Quarter? Me? I wouldn't be caught dead going to a place like that. It gives me the creeps. <laughs> Damn it, Yuri! Just because you can do a few tricks with that Bodhi Blastia, you think you're invincible. So the Bodhi Blastia... Oh, Here's they'll... hoping he doesn't do anything crazy. They'll explain it. <laughs> he always seems to cause problems when the lower quarter's involved. Even the Knights have started keeping an eye on him. Well, it's just an average day for Yuri. I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> ah, here we go. So, I am gonna... There's a shop up here. I don't think I can synthesize yet, but... If I can, there's some things I want to make. Hello, Mr. Shopkeep. Welcome. If it isn't Yuri, we've got some good stuff on sale today. Synthesize. Okay. Uh, not what I wanted to do. There we go. Special flag R allows Rapide um, to be the head of the party. Art Sphere uh, improve, um, gives me another set of arts that I probably won't use anyways. And I think that's all I can make right now. So. Um, oh, he doesn't have any vegetables for sale. Okay, cool. You there! You there! Are you aware of the serious events going on in the world? 
Oh, what a uh, apt timing since there's COVID outbreak and um, in my province, our government decided to cut the funding and everything so everybody's poor, everybody's pensions are losing money. Um, I mean, I myself am familiar with uh, eight people who were laid off not due to COVID just because of budget cuts in the province because our province no longer values education <laughs> and doesn't see the money uh, reason putting money into education. Um, I can't even remember how I got on this tangent, but... Uh, oh, right, because of the serious events going on in the world. So, anyways, this is... Of all the times I've played this, and I've been playing this since it came out 10 years ago, these are definitely the most serious events happening in our times. Over here, right here, I'm the Wonder Reporter. Mm -hmm. Bringing you the articles about what matters most every day. Do Yay. you read the newspaper in the morning? Cup of coffee? Donut? What? You don't? That just won't do. I sure don't. I don't want to start every morning depressed. What epic thing has transpired today? You'll never believe it. You can read it whenever, wherever, and with no effort at all. Yes, it's the Wonder Log. Put it to good use. And by the way, let's let the fact that I'm in the wall be our little secret, okay? Weirdo. Well then, farewell. Uh... Huh is right, because then they're all like, like, Wonderlog, and you're like, oh, this is cool. Like, Wonderlog, there's going to be a bunch of stuff, but it's just the fucking synopsis um, that shows what we've just done. So when you stop playing this game for like six months and then try and come back to it, you can figure out what the heck you're supposed to do. <laughs> hey. You hear about the Blastia in the lower quarter? Yes, I heard something about it breaking and them collecting money to fix it. That's right. I hear that lot went so far as to sell their treasures to save up the money. Treasures, sir? <laughs> Worthless junk. Nothing more. They wouldn't have gotten more than one gold for them. Oh. Not even one gold? I can't imagine what sort of treasures those would have to be. I'd like to have a look myself. I'm telling you, nothing but junk. <laughs> Jerk. They're poor. Listen to those guys. Poor Hanks. Can't really argue with them about the junk thing, though. <laughs> Yuri never misses. What the? Who's there? <laughs> and he hits hard. If you can't understand the value of junk, you're worth less than junk yourself. Repeat, can you find the trail? Of course you can. So they've been taking Blastia cores from here too. Looks like somebody's got some sticky fingers. That's the Royal Quarter for you. A few Blastia cores go missing, and no one even makes a fuss. Well, they look like they're like lights. I'm sure these people aren't out past dark, when so they probably don't even to notice. Throw the lower quarter into chaos. If they got cores to spare, ah. they could stand to give us some. <laughs> Sorry, I knocked the uh, volume control on my headset, and it just like went full blast. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh. Found it. course we did. I didn't need repeat to find it. Okay, so I will show you guys after this cutscene, I guess. So this is where he lives. Must be nice. Doesn't seem like there's anyone around. <laughs> I wonder if there's any other way in. Ooh, maybe you should go to the left to find that out. Um, like, thankfully, um, you get magic points here. Uh, this is the low level, so I can still do all the skits uh, and take my time with stuff. 
and um ah oh, is it open can i get in this way because the speedster one where you have to complete the entire game i think I can't remember now. It's been over a year since I got that one too. But that one was tough. Had to skip every skip scene. Uh, <laughs> uh, skip every skit. Um, oh, it was brutal. Because then I have to do all the talking. Because there's nobody else to do any talking. And I have to try and remember I what those Mordio skits said. Hiding here somewhere. So this one's nice. So we got stuff over here. That door's locked. Stuff over here. That door's locked. This door's locked. Just go right to this one. That must be. I mean, how did he not hear Yuri in his house? <gasps> the Plastia Core. Found him. You were Mordio, right? <laughs> Some pretty impressive Good smoke. Boy. At least what they the, got their junk back. The Blastia core is gone. Of course it's gone. It was in his hand. It disappeared with him. Let's go and get that core back. And give that mage a whooping while we're at it. Well, whooping. Okay. Oh, we're about to get a tutorial. Dun, dun. Uh, Yuri, so it is you who are the cause of all this commotion. Atticor and Atticus, I think is the other guy's name, are my favorite thorns in my side throughout this entire game. They serve as like the tutorial people. They teach you how to do like over limits and um, blast gauges and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, they're just, he calls them Tweedledee and Tweedledum? No, Tweedledum. I, whatever. He calls them something. I can't believe I can't remember it right now. It's just, it's so funny because they're just so, uh, I say. <laughs> I know he's poor, oh, but Bacchus, breaking into Jesus. an aristocrat's house? My, my, how the mighty have fallen. Shut up, Bacchus. Just what I needed. Tweedle A and Tweedle B. <laughs> okay, so he just calls them Tweedles. Just I what say, is a Tweedle anyway? <laughs> there's no hope of escape. We've got you surrounded. Uh, there's just two of you. Does it look like I'm trying to escape? See, it's stuff like that that keeps you guys from getting promoted. Tee hee. You did not just say that! I say, you take that back! I say. Enough beating around the bush, I guess. Okay, so, uh, no, I don't want to read the tutorial. Uh, X is attack, circle is special attack, and square is block. And watch this. <laughs> one hit killed both. You some extra Excellent. Okay, so I got one EXP and I only got 20 bonus EXP. So hopefully this should be good. And I don't need it, but whatever. Come on, guys. You can do better than that, can you? <laughs> Uh-oh. The Cumor Brigade is here. Looks like I won't be catching up with that carriage anytime soon. Uh, nope. How typical of the Schwan Brigade. Oh, what they a can't even bag. manage to capture a single lowlife. It bothers me because Cumor, or Cumor as I like to call him, um, it looks like his symbol is like a heart, kind of, right? Like you see on the back of his thing, and then on the front of his thing, he has like a heart shaped thing. And it's like, well, if you're all hearts, buddy, you should be nice. But he's like, King of the douchebags. Captain Cumor? 
I say, I say. Uh, our apologies for this unsightly display. I'm afraid the Imperial Knights have no use for you, lowborn scum. Uh, please, don't let Sir Schwan know about this, sir. I can't believe our taxes go to paying these guys. There he is. I say, that tops it all. Abandoned by his faithful pooch. Repeat, just like, fuck this, I'm getting out of here with the good stuff. <laughs> well, well, you've had a busy day, haven't you, Mr. Yuri Lowell? I'd say. I'm rather busy myself, but I suppose I can afford to play with you for a while. Oh, lucky us. Gentlemen! It's rats like you that make Flynn's job so difficult. <laughs> Flynn, a little suffering is just what that upstart lieutenant needs. When you've finished with him, throw him in the prison as usual. Ten days or so ought to teach him a lesson. So like I was saying, the thief made off with a priceless treasure from that noble's mansion. <laughs> Is he talking about us? I know, I know. Then he was caught and the loot was returned, right? No. See, that's just nobility trying to keep things quiet. The treasure in the mansion right now is a fake. He's not talking about us. You're pulling my leg. Hey, you didn't hear it from me, bub. The Dark Wings are going nuts looking for the hideout. You mean the Thieves' Guild? <clears throat> that's enough out of you. Almost mealtime. <laughs> I love it. The guard loves a good gossip sesh. Hey, neighbor, you're awake, right? You gotta be getting tired from keeping so quiet. You think that little story up all by yourself, old man? You must have plenty of time on your hands. <laughs> old man? Now you've gone and hurt this old man's feelings. Oh, I love it. Besides, I didn't make up nothing. I've got eyes and ears the world over digging up information for me. He actually does. This is Raven. <laughs> sure you do, old man. He'll join us soon. Hey, I am what I am. Go ahead and ask me something. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Want to know about the pirate guild's sunken treasure? How about the sorcerer who makes his home at the ends of the earth? Or wait, I've got it. I just want to know how to get out of here. Well, I'm not sure what you're in for, but they'll let you out if you keep your trap shut for ten days. <laughs> the lower quarter will be underwater by then. The lower quarter? Ah, yeah, I heard about that. I wonder how they're all doing right now. Sorry, neighbor. That's one piece of dirt I don't have. It feels so weird having these voiced scenes after, like, playing Final Fantasy VII, like, nonstop for the past... It feels like a month, but I think it's only been, like, three weeks or something. Um, or maybe it has been a month. Anyways, after that... That's just, I feel like I'm being too quiet, but you guys don't need me talking over these scenes, I guess, unless I've got something witty to say, which I rarely do. <laughs> what am I going to do about that damn Mordio? The Mordio? You mean to say you've got connections to the famed mage from Ospio, the city of scholars? Oh, do you know about him? Thanks for that piece of dirt. Oh, want to know, huh? I'm afraid that information won't come cheap. Ooh. The famed mage from Ospio, the city of scholars, right? I think I got it. Uh -huh. Well, wait, that's not it. He's the, uh, the head of the gourmet guild. No, wait, it's the, uh, I mean. <laughs> Out. Oh, sorry, that's me. Oh, well, just when things were getting good. <laughs> Hurry up. What is Commandant Alexei doing here? Dun, dun, dun. Whoa! Just who are you anyway? And what does the head of the knights want with you? Beneath the statue of the goddess. What are you doing? I said hurry up. All right, easy. I'm coming. 
da, 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 da. I did say I was looking for a way out of here. Prison key. Perfect. Oh, I did it again. Cranked up my volume. Keeps getting stuck on my arm. At least it wasn't in the middle of someone talking. I didn't get the crap. Would you look at that? It crap scared out of me. Ever vigilant as usual. And with the way he's sleeping, it'll be a while before anyone notices I'm gone. If I come back before morning, I'll never be wiser to my little jailbreak. <laughs> I, I think, think you're... I can check on the lower quarter and make it back by morning. I think you're a little overconfident It'd there, Yuri. It'd probably be good to try that statue of the goddess, too. Um, nothing in here. Save points. Love me a good save point. Okay, and then we can get our stuff back here. Okay, so now that we've got our stuff back, I am going to... Uh, where be? Holy Bobble. This will keep the enemies away. No, they're just saying like, oh, you should probably avoid battles, and you probably should. There's a bunch of items you can get an item at those boxes. Um, there's items down here that you're not going to see because I'm not going to finish the game. Um, so let's just grab them now, actually. Not that I need any of them. Um, and then uh, I've been through this castle so many times I should have it memorized <clears throat> oh but first <laughs> why don't we just go back I can't go back now this is for your own good, miss. You know that. As for the incident, we assume full responsibility and will inform the lieutenant ourselves. How can you say that when you haven't done anything to help me? Please, don't come any closer. Now, now, why don't you put that down? You'll only end up hurting yourself. Oh, what a condescending... <clears throat> I know how to use a sword. I'm afraid you leave us no choice. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Hey, there she is! This way! Please, you've got to let me go! I have to warn Flynn! Did she say Flynn? <gasps> she did! Yuri's interested now. Hey! Flynn, you came to help me? Who, who are you? <laughs> no, she I doesn't know if she likes us. <laughs> All right, force battle. Man, just when I thought I was being sneaky, things have to go to hell. You're the one who jumped Careful, in. I think he's got a blast here. It shouldn't be a problem if we take him together. Don't they teach these guys manners in night school anymore? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> she might know how to use a sword, but she doesn't know how to throw a vase. Hey! Boss? Are you trying to kill me? Well, you don't belong in the castle, right? No, and I'll take it as a compliment that you can tell that by looking at me. I would say it is exceptionally obvious by looking at you that you do not belong in the castle, Yuri. Yuri Lol! Where are you? You foul fugitive! <laughs> I say, we know you're trying to make your escape. Oh, please, not them again. I guess there's no point in going back to the prison cell now. Louder, fools! Say it like you mean it! <laughs> Lieutenant LeBlanc, 
Your voice is too loud. My ears. My ears. That's uh, so many good lines in this. Yuri Lowell? You're one of Flynn's friends, aren't you? Why, yes, I am. Yeah. Why? And you used to belong to the Imperial Knights. Just for three short months. Mm. You hear that from Flynn? Yes. Huh. Guess he managed to find someone at the castle he could talk to after all. Just happened to be a pretty dang cute wa <laughs> waifu. <laughs> Yuri, I need to talk to Flynn. Hold on just a second. Who are you supposed to be, anyway? I can tell you know Flynn, but why are you being chased by the knights? Over here! Listen, I want to hear the whole story, but we can't really afford to stand around and chat. First things first, let's get to Flynn's place. Want me to lead the way? Uh, yes. Let's go. Uh, so I believe it's just straight up here. Yes. So, um, we want to go straight. Mmm, something smells tasty. Oh, you're right. What could it be? Oh, yeah. Isn't the night's dining hall around here? It is, in fact, right here. So you can go in here at any time if you wanted to, like, grind in this corridor. Um, because there is a boss fight coming up fairly soon. If you go over here, um, you can, uh, restore your HP and TP. Okay. So, let's just avoid all these people. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the treasure chest. And you're definitely going to want to uh, save at the save point. Because there is a boss coming pretty quickly. Uh, so I think this is actually a wonderful place to end. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And join me next time uh, where we uh, fight our first boss on the low level challenger. See you next time. Bye.